How's it going? This is Josh from Spawn Fly Fish. Today we are going to be tying the bent bait fish. And if you follow our blog for the last several years, you will have seen this pattern come to life. It's one that I've used many times with a ton of success. Uh, more or less, it's a candlefish, but you can also shorten it to be a simpler, smaller bait fish. So we are going to get after it. In the vise, we have a SA220 size number eight. And we just have some black thread. So this one thread color is not as crazy important. I usually tie on either black or white. All right, so we got some feathers here off of a E-wing saddle. It's a chartreuse saddle if you if you look at it on our website, but uh, it's a pretty it's a pretty pastel short chartreuse. It's really just a light olive, but it's there. Uh, they classify it as a chartreuse, um, but the picture the picture really showcases that. Um, so when you see it on their website or on our website, you'll know that's what we're talking about. So I got two feathers here. Just tie one on either side of this hook shank. And I want it to protrude about an inch off of this fly. Not crazy long, but if you've seen a candlefish, they do really squiggle around. So something like so. You can see that one feather's a little messed up, but all right. And then the, this fly is really simple, actually. Uh, and how we're gonna get started is much like how we start a lot of the flies that you see me use here in the Pacific Northwest is with some spawn semi-seal. And what I'm doing here, this is the standard, but I'm gonna shorten this because I want a really slim profile for the tail section of this fly. So I'm gonna cut that even smaller here. And as you've seen before, I'm going to start the clump and dump. I'm just going to tie it on here, veil it back, and work our way forward. And we're going to get a couple little sections here of this semi seal in before we add the bend, which coins the name the bent bait fish. So all the while thinking about how that's going to look in the water. And like I said, these candlefish are pretty slim. Look like little snakes almost in the water. So you don't want that tail section to be beefy by any means. It's almost too much here. I'm just going to get a little bit more here. And I will whip finish and we're good. I'm gonna throw a little bit of zap the gap on there. Just add a little bit of extra durability. Nothing crazy, just a dab. Cool. Alrighty, and now we can take that out of the vise and add our 60 degree jig shank. So first we're going to take one of these jig shanks, 60 degree, 20 millimeter, and we are going to slide on a chartreuse bead here. I can do this without dropping the bead. Just 
So we will have it like so. And we will place that back in the vise. So a lot of times I get the question, 60 or 90, when, where, and why? So for this fly, I like to use a 60 because this is a fly that I won't be fishing on the bottom. This is more of a center column fit or fly. I won't let this hit the bottom. And that's generally like when I like to use a 60 versus a 90 is when that fly isn't going to touch the bottom. I do like a 90 when it's gonna hit the bottom. It'll be a more exaggerated jigging motion. It'll pop it up over an oyster shell, up over a clam bed. Uh, so that's generally when I'm using those. And that is why on this fly in particular, I will specifically be using a 60. All right, so we got that all secure now. And back to the simi. So now that we're getting a little way in, a little ways into the fly, we don't have to worry about trimming these fibers as much like we did at the tail section. Now we can just line up the fibers like so. Place here. And, and semi seal tends to have kind of like a messy look when you're tying with it. And that's totally okay. Like it's going to look great in the water. You will, you can brush it out. Uh, so don't fret over the fact that your fly might look or appear to be a little messy in the vise. This is not how it's gonna look in the water. And that's something to always keep in mind when you're tying. So we're gonna get this keep going here. As you can see, the long bait fish body is starting to come to life. And that is exactly what we want. Now we are going to take some Spawn Simi Seal and the Herring Aid. This color combo specifically uh, here in Western Washington is a great one in the salt water. Not quite sure what it is. I've never seen something that looks like this in the water, but boy, does it trigger these fish, especially the coho. underneath turn it back and we're gonna get a little more semi seal here on top and then that's pretty much it this is a really simple fly like a lot of my flies um, but this thing is very productive. Sea run cutthroat, coho, love this fly. Got a ton of success with this color pattern in Puget Sound and in Western Washington in general. We're gonna add some wraps here. Gonna beef it up a little bit. We're gonna whip finish. What's okay? You we have a bit of a thread. Uh, collar here as you can see but that's okay because we're going to add some 3d eyes and it's nice to have that base sometimes when you're sticking on one of these 3d eyes so as you can see this bait fish coming to life here get out of the vice for a second 
This is almost a little beefier than I like, but that's gonna work really well. It's gonna slim down in the water and it's gonna have that amazing tail action thanks to the platform that we tied on that is the spawn jig shank. Alrighty, so we're gonna add a eye here just on the side. ton of options for you on these eyes. They usually get chewed off pretty fast, but I do really like tying with them. There's there. So as you can see, when I'm adding these 3D eyes, I turn the vise on its side so that I have an easier platform to really just push down on when I'm adding these 3D eyes versus to squeeze. I like to push down versus squeeze. And if you tie enough of these, you will tend to agree with me, I would believe. Alrighty. So that is that. This is the bent bait fish. This color wet pattern is specific. I would recommend utilizing it. And I believe that it will bring you a ton of success. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe. Thank you all so much and have a great day.